I'm Steve Walling from Gulf Coast Ultrasound today for your hot tip and we're going to be going over getting a TR jet from a modified apical four chamber view and TAPSI. Okay, so we're going to start here with a basic apical four chamber view and from our standard apical four chamber view I'm going to put color right on the tricuspid valve. You can see not a lot of tricuspid regurgitation. The image is uh, a little dark, a little bit to, a little hard to see if there is anything there. I'm going to try my continuous wave Doppler here. We can see not much of a TR jet that we can really see. And this, uh, of course, we want to look at all of our views when we're looking at a TR jet, but sometimes going a little bit more off axis to a modified apical four chamber view, which we like to use our landmarks here of the RV apex and the LV apex. If we see that the RV apex on our screen is lower than the LV apex, that tells us that we're on axis for an apical four. But in these instances, I may actually slide a little bit off. We uh, definitely round, this is very rounded out, but to bring in the tricuspid valve, we can see that the image is slightly, slightly clearer here. We have better contact. I'm going to put color on, and here we can magically see that there is a little bit of a TR jet, making sure that I'm looking right at the insertion of the jet itself. And that's where we want to line up our uh, continuous wave cursor so we can get the best jet. Activate our cursor, and we can see now there actually is a TR jet that we can measure. One other thing to note from this modified apical four chamber view, which if we're more at a standard apical four, we come slightly off axis here. This is going to be the view that we want to measure our TAPSI. Um, and that's going to be an M mode measurement, the tricuspid annular plane systolic excursion. And the reason for this is our cursor is going to be much more in line with the motion of the RV free wall annulus. When we are in a standard four chamber view, sometimes what happens is we get the uh, RV free wall in the way and the ASC recommends that we want to use this more modified apical four chamber view as we'll see for our TAPSI right here. Get a nice crisp measurement so we can take it from there. I think it's always important to look at all of our views for the tricuspid valve. The one last view just to show you is from a apical three chamber view, if we continue to rotate counterclockwise, we can bring in a reverse four, where we will actually see the tricuspid valve on the right hand side of our screen and the mitral valve on the left hand side. This again can be another window, if I go slightly off axis here, that you might get more of a parallel alignment for your tricuspid regurgitation jet. Let's see. No real different from our, our other view uh, that we saw from the modified apical four chamber view, but just another tip for you to add uh, in your search for tricuspid regurgitation in order to calculate your RVSP, right ventricular systolic pressure. That's your hot tip for the day. Now you give it a try.